So what's this film about? Well, The Strange Thing About the Johnsons is a short film by legendary director Ari Aster. If you listen to our podcast, you know that he's the director of Hereditary and Midsummer, two movies that I believe are near perfect horror movies. Nick and Alex can disagree, whatever. This is one of his first films. A lot of people claim that this is his first film. I don't believe that's true. He has another film listed on IMDb before this, but semantics aside it's very close to his directorial debut so what's this film about well uh, I actually want to put a trigger warning before we even get into this anymore if, if things like essay and um, assault bother you definitely do not watch this don't watch the film especially don't watch the review we're gonna talk about it a little bit. In The Strange Things About the Johnsons, a father and son have a relationship that's way too close. It's, it seems a little one-sided and gross and not good. If you know what I mean, it's bad. It's bad. It's bad. You may have seen Ari Aster's other films and thought that this was going to be maybe a little more supernatural. I went into this not knowing anything about it. There are no supernatural elements to this unlike Midsummer and Hereditary. Absolutely none, they don't exist. This is pure horror that is real. This could potentially happen and that's the disgusting and horrible thing. But this film does what Ari Aster does best. It is a study of family, of relationships, and the horrors that those things can lead to. I think that's Ari Aster's whole message or like style of horror. Lovecraft is about these cosmic horrors that you can't even comprehend. You can see them but they're so big and you're so small and that's where the horror comes from. They Allan and Poe's very down to earth. It's murdery. It's weird. Ari Aster's style of horror is relationships. It's the family dynamic. Not necessarily family, just relationships between people. It makes sense that this film was made by the same guy who brought us Hereditary. And this movie is disturbing. I'm still thinking about it. It's really very disgusting. It's really very real. I wanted to save this part for the end because I really do want to reiterate if you do not like talking about essay, then we should click off this video. But I want to talk about the depiction of it in the film. I've been having an I've been having a debate with some people and internally about depictions of assault on screen. It all started from an episode of The Sopranos that I watched called Employee of the Month. Now I've seen this show before and I've seen that scene before but there is an assault scene in it and it's very visceral, it's very real and it's shown in its entirety. It, ne it didn't used to bother me as much as it did the last time I saw it. I think it's because when I saw it and I was younger I thought that's not something that happens to a lot of people but it turns out it very much is. So I started to talk to other people and see if they felt the same way that maybe this depiction, this visceral real depiction of it on screen wasn't necessarily the best way to go about talking about these kinds of things. Maybe there's another way to talk about these kind of things, tell a good story and get your point across without having to show. It's almost contradictory to f what we're told in film school and that's show don't tell. After these conversations I've had and after a lot of internal thought, I feel like there's better ways to go about showing assault on screen. Unfortunately, a lot of people have been through assault in real life. We don't wanna bring those memories back up in a harmful way. We want to be able to educate people who have not gone through that kind of thing in a way that's going to be helpful for everyone. That being said, I think the strange things about the Johnsons, while very visceral and real, and you know what's going on and it's very heavily implied, never actually shows a full assault. It kind of starts to show something and maybe you hear some stuff. Maybe it's not the best way to go about it, but I feel like maybe it's better than something like The Sopranos. Overall, I think this is a really good short film. It is made by Ari Aster. I think he's one of the best in the game right now. It's a different kind of horror, but with still the same kinds of themes that Aster's known for. I think I'd give it a solid A minus. 
like I said, there's some things, especially about the depictions of assault in this film that I think maybe could have been done better, but I think it is better than maybe the standard, if that makes sense. If you like this review, please consider subscribing, consider checking out some of my other reviews. I'm trying to get back into the swing of doing a weekly review. For a while, I was kind of trying to do longer reviews and write them up. That's still something I want to do, but I can't put stuff out as frequently as I would like. So I'm going to be, you know, just doing some more off the cuff, just watch something and then talk about it reviews. I try to get one of those up every week. So subscribe, follow. I also do the shorts now. YouTube shorts is great, I think. We are doing reviews of individual episodes of TV shows. We've done The Mandalorian, Falcon and the Winter Soldier, Sopranos, and I think that might be it. WandaVision. We also do have short films. I have more stuff like that coming out. Also comedy shorts, everything. Anything under the sun. This is the Flying Turkey Network, god dang it. So please subscribe, stick around, follow me on social medias. You can follow me on TikTok, Twitch. I stream on Twitch at least once a week. I stream on TikTok at least once a week. I put new videos out on TikTok every day. Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, whatever. It's all in the description. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.